Oh, this is courtesy of TMZ, right? Yeah. Courtesy of TMZ. The never ending saga between Tory Lanez and Megan Thee Stallion takes another dramatic turn. Another, another dramatic turn. So, TMZ said the following. Tory Lanez, Megan Thee Stallion can talk about my case, so why can't I? So, as you know, the other week, or maybe a couple of weeks ago, I don't know what it feels like, you know, with COVID, the days just blurring into one. But recently, a story was leaked or a story was misinterpreted misinterpreted by large sections of the hip hop blog space, right? Where they basically misread the report or misread into the situation because the case filing online between Megan Thee Stallion and Tory Lanez hadn't been updated, stuff was missing. So somebody came to a natural conclusion that two plus two equals 10 and that somehow the case has been dropped, which naturally then caused Megan to go into a bit of a Twitter tirade that day maybe it's because she's on a diet and she's you know feeling a little bit cranky but for some reason ill-advised of course she decided to go on social media and completely berate people for believing this fake story um rich further reiterating that she definitely thinks tori or you know without naming him reiterating that tori was the one that shot her taking aim at people that doubted her story um calling you know certain people names just a complete shit of a situation at the time, Tori kind of took it to his stride, you know, made some uh, not so subtle um, hints that he, you know, obviously read what she said and was aware and just kept it moving. And you thought, OK, cool. Finally, or maybe that was kind of the last straw. A lot of people was look, we just want this thing to be over. Just reading some of the comments, people are like, you know, we're tired of this. Let's just get this story. Let's just get this um in the courts and let them deal with it but now it's taking a dramatic twist because it feels like Tori is kind of fighting back against a narrative that exists out there where I think she tried to even say herself in one of the statements Megan Thee Stallion in the effect of like oh um his team Tori's team keeps putting out stories and you know in terms of trying to discredit what she said and bloody blah, blah 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 so it's an entire shit of a situation which I think in the end no one will win no one will come out of this smelling like roses I think especially when you consider that allegedly both of these people were romantically engaged in some way shape or form along the way and of course you know things end things can sometimes get a bit messy but to, for it to get to a situation where effectively they're both trying to ruin each other's careers in 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 their own way is really really uh, i would say disappointing especially when you consider at the end there is not going to be no winner no one's going to win from this both people have lost it's been a whole year maybe plus of this nonsense is it even less it might not be even a year it might be less because you know, like i said covid times it all feels like a year or less than six months there's no in between but regardless i still think there's no winner in this i think both people have probably lost in terms of how they're perceived in the public in terms of the drama in terms of what's hanging over the head in terms of the resources you use in order to defend themselves and just you know the lack of attention that's been placed on their music right Tory Lanez has put out two albums in this time Megan Thee Stallion put out a debut project and still no one's talking about the music everyone's talking about this case it's a complete shit show but let's read this article here from TMZ it says the following Megan Thee Stallion recently signed off about Tory Lanez allegedly shooting her and now she wants and now he wants to level the playing field and speak his mind a judge had ordered Lanez to keep his lips sealed about the gets about info he gets from the prosecutors in the case and also barred him from contacting Meg on social media but in a new court filing he has now says that's totally unfair in the docs Lane says it's unfair and Megan is able to say whatever she wants while he is basically prevented from defending himself and that I guess for me has always been the issue for minute one just from the you know because they well they I guess in a way it was made a public situation people to kind of have a, something to say about right it should have probably been dealt in the courts from minute one but regardless where we are where we are now and when I first heard the story just from my interpretation of things I never believed it I never believed Megan's side of things it just seemed a bit far-fetched that Tori would go and point blank shoot her in the feet the way that she said it happened it just didn't seem like that was accurate of what transpired did she get injured yes um, of course we saw the pictures did it maybe was it maybe a result of something being fired yes who knows I can't I'm not an expert in wounds but in terms of how she described the event it just didn't seem plausible and the thing that was always confusing to me is why 
just saying you didn't think what she said was accurate was a somewhat controversial take and why Megan herself seemed to be so upset when people were questioning her story. It just didn't make any sense because it's a story, right? It's an allegation. We weren't there. Um, she's obviously alleging one thing happened. So you maybe file a report with the, with, the, with the authorities. You bring charges to the person who think you harmed you. They investigate it and then deal with it that way. But I didn't really understand why she was so insistent on making sure she corrects everybody who, in her head, kind of said it or reinterpreted it the wrong way it was always a really strange approach especially if you generally think that you've been harmed in a really um you know uh barbaric and crazy way is being shot in the foot right you'd want to just deal with it possibly you don't care about what these people random think on social media it just seemed a bit strange in that regard and it also seemed very odd that she seemed to be okay with just naming him in public whilst the court case is going on it just seemed a bit wild of a way to kind of go about things if ever there was a time where you had to kind of keep your counsel and make sure that the people that hurt you come to justice this will be now right you'd, you'd want to be a little bit more careful about how you conduct your things so anyway it continues um there's a there's a screenshot there of her tweets that she obviously fired off when that first incorrect story was leaked and it says the following lane says he's particularly miffed about what went down last week when iranian um, reports began circulating that the charges against tory were dropped making respond to social media saying at this point i'm getting annoyed stop believing every you read on the internet imagine how i feel waking up every day seeing people lie and turn my trauma into joke that whole time that whole team figures out ways to create doubt in my story every week and the media eats it up which I would argue isn't true. I would argue if any if there's anybody that's been consistently trying to rewrite the narrative, it's probably her team, which is understandable considering she's the one that's alleged that she got shot. So it's basically on her to keep proving that that story is accurate and reminding the nation of it, I guess. But we continue. According to Lanes, Megan falsely insinuated he and his legal team had something to do with the burgers reports therefore maligning their integrity megan also commented i can't wait until these m fucking facts come out bitch you shot me and my story not changing bitch you're going to jail now that's the bit that obviously caught everybody out it's like ish at this point it's obviously looking like you know he possibly didn't do it or the way that she remembers it it didn't happen that way so for her to continually go on about wanting to quote unquote destroy him and prove that he's the one that did it it just comes across a bit weird it just comes across a bit weird because who knows if it transpires in a court that hey she how she remembered it isn't how it actually happened and because she was you know they're both hysterical they're both maybe liquored up maybe other substances are involved there you could easily explain away and say hey from my recollection i thought this happened it didn't but then to support to purposely well, purposely but to quite clearly say no you're the one that did this to me you harmed me knowing full well that he's not the person that did that in an effort to ruin his career i'm not too sure how she bounces back from it if if proven her side of events didn't transpire the way it did if what she says happened then of course she's fair and free to continue squeezing everything that she can out of this story to her benefit why not it happened to you use your trauma as a way to kind of gain more success it is what it is but if it transpires that this her, how she remembers it wasn't how it actually happened what goes what happens here from from now on how does she conduct herself in industry like how do you how do you like redeem yourself from this like what happens next do you apologize to the person that you're wrong do you apologize to the public do you just continue and act like it never happened <sighs> according to the docs lane's claims there's evidence refuting megan's side of the story including evidence of gunshot residue implicating others but because of the protection order he's not able to disclose any of that and that's a big revelation now we've been here now because i've never really heard this aspect of gunshot residue being somehow found in this case somehow gunshot residue has been found and he is basically arguing that this residue basically proves that i'm not the one that did it because you know if you've watched any decent thriller cop drama um action movie you'll know you know how usually difficult it is for the protagonist to wash away or to prevent themselves from not getting any gunshot residue on any part of their clothing and considering the early videos we saw of them during that evening that, f that fatal evening um if you remember quite clearly even from the video still that's on the screen now of 
making sort of limping out of the SUV, they were all scantily clad. None of them, I don't think any of them had even a t-shirt on, right? The girls were in the bikinis, Victoria also had the shorts on. So if there was gunshot residue, they would be all over his body, it will be all over his hands, it will be all over his shorts, whatever he's wearing, it will be on him. There's no way he could have cleaned it before he got into the car, before he went to the police station. It just isn't going to happen, especially in LA. So if he does have evidence that this gunshot residue that supposedly was found on somebody else which implicates them in the issue that essentially proves that he didn't do it and what does that prove does that then prove that Megan's a liar or did she misremember misremember things because if she didn't say all this stuff in the beginning it's okay you can just spin it as like yeah i was traumatized right my you know i've got no one less left in the world i just blacked out I, where i remembered what i remembered but she's she's gone on record numerous times and said no he did it pointed the finger and said i know you did it i uh, didn't she say well at one point she saw him do it even though she said she didn't see him as she was coming out of the car right or something stupid like that there was some sort of weird inconsistency of the story again she could probably clear it up later but it's not looking good man it really isn't if anything there's too much doubt in the air now at the moment for, for anyone to believe one side of the story for sure something happened between both of them for sure they got into some sort of altercation what what over we will never know because it seems like they don't want to divulge the actual truth of the issue maybe because it embarrasses them who knows but regardless i for one hope this story comes to some sort of logical conclusion very soon because i've had enough <laughs>